Hi everybody, my name is Todd Brandon and I am the Accidental Excelist. This is video tutorial number 18 in a series I'm doing on creating a customer database CRUD style app or tool in Microsoft Access. And at this point, we've got it covered. We've covered the CRUD acronym, Create, Read, Update, and Destroy. So if we need to add a new record, we click on Add New. That's the Create part of that. So if we want to read, we go to View All, and then we get this All Customers form. And if we want to go into further detail, we can actually click on that button and get full detail. And then uh, so we can go to the Update portion. We can uh, change any of these uh, you know, these data points and uh, click on save changes to save those changes. So that updates the uh, record. And then if we want to delete, we just click on the delete record. All of that's functioning. If you're just jumping in, you're just discovering this, uh, feel free to go back and check out the other videos. Uh, you can see how to actually create all of these yourself, the code involved in it and everything uh, from the ground up. And uh, if you look in the description here below, it has a link for the playlist so you can see the entire playlist. And if you want to go back to the introduction video, I show you what this um, app looks like from top to bottom once we get done with it, complete with it. Uh, we are actually almost complete in this video. Uh, we're going to go to the main form here. And uh, one thing I need to do in this video is show you how to create an auto exec macro and what access does when it opens a file if it sees an auto exec macro that exists it runs that code when it opens so what we want to do is tell access when it opens this file to open to the main form so we've done this before in another um, in another way when we've attached it to uh, buttons within our forms just basically the open form action but in this case we're going to create it in a standalone macro so to do that, we need to go to the Create tab, and then we need to go over here to the Macros and Code group and click on Macro. So it brings this Macro Builder up. You've seen this before if you've been following along. This should not be new to you. And I'm going to go ahead and start typing OP until Open Form shows up in this dropdown. I'm going to press Tab. And now for the form name, it's going to be Main because I want it to open up the main form. So now I go here across from these tabs, I'm going to click on this X and it's going to ask me if I want to save the changes to this macro and currently it's named by default macro one. I'm going to click yes and I'm going to change the name in the save as dialog to auto exec. And that's spelled A-U-T-O-E-X-E-C. Now I'm going to click OK. And note over here in the all access objects in the navigation pane, we now have a macro named auto exec. So now I want to save this file. Now I want to close this and we're going to find the file and we're going to open it from the file. So right now I need to note where my uh, database is. Actually, you know what? Right now I want to change this name. It's been database one all along through this series, but this is a good, as good a time as any to change that name. So I'm going to click save as and uh, I'm going to go save it as a database. Obviously click on save as and I need to let it close all the forms. All right, so right now it's in this uh, folder, which we'll just leave it there. That's fine. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to type in um, customer database. All right, so I'm going to click save. All right. So now I'm just going to uh, close this. And now let's find it in my folder or my directories. So it's this file here, customer database. I'll double click that. It'll open. And sure enough, it opens on that main form. Actually, what I should have done is close that navigation pane. Let's save that one more time. Let's close this and double click that. And yeah, so that's kind of how we want it to open. So every time that the file opens, we want it to open to this main form. Because as you recall, if you've been following along, as we created this main form, we said we wanted this to be sort of our centerpiece of the app, this jumping off point. So this has everything we need. If we need to create a new record, we just click on the add new button. When we click close, it goes back to the main form. If we want to view the existing records, we go here and this is the point from which we can either save changes or delete the records and also read here. So we've got the CRUD acronym covered and this is really 
the uh, centerpiece of the app. This is where we want to be at from you know any given time that we need to either add a new record, view all, or exit the app. Yes, we're sure. So cool. So that's working out. Uh, the next video we're going to look at uh, one of the final uh, issues that we need to deal with to uh, actually get to a point where you would deploy this and we're going to split the database. So that's what we're going to do next. So I'll see you in the next video. Thanks everybody for watching. Please take a minute to like and subscribe and be sure to check us out at theaccidentalexcellus.com.